randomness in games can be really fun. But too much randomness can feel really swingy and sort of diminish the decisions the players make. And, and on a story level, too much randomness can sort of pull you out of the story a little bit. Uh, so that's why, in the JRPG tabletop adventure game, the main mechanic that resolves most things is this. So we started designing this game. Uh, the original combat system used dice. And I actually really liked the system. It was, it was pretty fun. Uh, but it just felt a little too swingy. You know, JRPG, classic JRPG combat isn't really swingy. Of all the things it is, it's not usually very swingy. So we went back at it and we sort of tamped down the, uh, what a great success did and what a great failure did uh, to sort of take the swinginess down. But that just made the game feel stale. And in the end, diminished the player's decisions to the point where it always felt like the dice won the combat, not the players. So we moved to a system that used the bag. And you basically pull tokens out of the bag uh, in battle to see the results of your attacks. And we were maybe two turns into our first test, and we knew that was the right decision. Uh, it was fascinating that it was better than we thought it would be for a couple of really fun reasons. One is, we always knew that like bags just give you a different style of randomness than dice but it was really fun watching people pull tokens out of their bag, put them on the sort of pull token area of their board, and then use that knowledge to choose their next attack. So it became not only a better kind of randomness, but one that gave the players information that they could synthesize into, into their decision-making in battles. And that was really fun to watch. It was so fun that we wrote down here on a big whiteboard, focus on the bag. And that just meant we wanted to include the bag in as much of the game as we could. Instead of just making the bag this one mechanic you use for battle, we wanted to use it in lots of different places because we just felt that the decisions that come from having a bag and a bag building style mechanic were just more interesting. So we started to look at the bag as sort of like the hero's stats, uh, made up of all the tokens that were in their bag which led to a really fun uh, discovery or design decision, I guess you would call it, where we worked on the upgrade boards. You know, the upgrade trees that you get in JRPGs, and we turned that into tokens that you could put in to your bag as you sort of leveled up. I think we'll do a whole video on that mechanic. Uh, but that concept was super fun, right? Players could sort of decide as they developed as a character which how they wanted to focus their bag. We also wanted to make sure we used the bag for things like special abilities. So for example, Sort, who's the white mage, uh, has the ability to buff other uh, heroes, as you would expect in a JRPG. And instead of having the buffs be things like, uh, the hero does three points more damage for the next two rounds, we turn the buffs into tokens. And those tokens are put into the hero's bag, and when they're pulled out, they do something amazing. We also made it that each move in the game, which are your sort of basic moves you do during battle that get upgraded as you go along, each comes with their own unique critical hit token. So you get the move card that shows you what the move is you can do, and you get the move token from the back, and if you pull that token during that move, you can expect uh, a high level success. But it's not just the heroes that have control about what's in those bags. Your enemies might sort of get involved in this manipulation as well. For instance, let's say a, uh, an enemy poisons you. Well, that poison will be tokens you put in your bag, and if you pull those tokens later on in the fight, you'll take that poison damage. Uh, if a corrupted monster hits you during a fight, you'll get something called a shadow token into your bag. And if as a group you pull three of those out during a fight, you'll lose. So the bag is a big, big focus of this game, and it's really fun. One last thing I want to mention about the bag is that you know, the JRPG is a very big game. It's got lots and lots of components. Uh, and when you make a game this big as a game designer, you're sometimes tempted to make lots of different sort of unrelated game mechanics for each element of the game. Sadly, when you do that, often all you add to the game is complexity. 
by focusing on the bag so heavily in our development, we've ended up with a very elegant game. One that can easily be played by a wide variety of players and enjoyed by a wide variety of players. The experienced player is not going to have to spend all of their time sort of helping the experienced player understand all the crazy rules because the bag is so much the focus. I think you're really going to enjoy this bag building game wrapped in this amazing JRPG story.